Hi, everybody. Molly Oyua here with Sacred Fire Creative. Thank you so much for joining me live and joining us on the replay. If you are watching, definitely type in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. And then today, I'm super excited to introduce my guest, Kim Ely. And let me go ahead and read here. Kim Ely lives in Prince George, Virginia, with her wonderful husband, BFF, and a four legged furry child and even though oh this is so great i you guys you know she writes this and i can't even get through it. okay even though she snorts when she laughs has wonder lots of wonderful friends and family members who will actually spend time with her in public um she's a graduate of the college of william and mary and virginia commonwealth university <laughs> illy proves that an english major can indeed find employment there you go. She is an author, a writing coach, a life tech, I don't know what that is, um, a publisher, a muse, and a speaker. She adores cats, orchids, Marvel movies, cooking for her husband, and friends. 80s metal hair, hair <laughs> metal, sorry, hair metal, and gets all her news from comedy channels. Awesome, <laughs> Kim. And Kim knows that I am gonna talk about Brill now, and Serana, you know, she gave me this amazing description and it's just way too good to pass up. So it's brand new. Kim, I think you wrote this. So <laughs> forge from a desire to collaborate, communicate and inspire. Brill, business resources for inspiring leaders, fuels passions, progress and purpose for women in business. No matter what business women are in or are running, all need budget know-how. Brill's founder, Serana Blackfoot, is a financial fighter and extreme educator. She is passionate about teaching women how to create, preserve, and transfer their wealth, and she knows that Brill is the first factor of the equation, uniting women with subject matter experts and community leaders who can help them design the business of their dreams, empowers the Brill attendees to yield positive changes in all aspects of their lives. Picture the Brill stage, the Brill speaker has just shared an idea that lights up one of the participants, opening her mind to new opportunities, shifting mindsets, and a brand new outlook enables her to fast forward her business to the next level. This is no vision, the growth is a reality, keeping it fresh with local and out of state experts on the topics that matter most to your business. Brill is the perfect combination of answers to challenges both unique to the Richmond area and universal business demands. Brilliant business leaders overcome their upper limits through Brill. So you can find more about that. I'm gonna type it here in the agenda because this is what we're gonna be talking about. We are gonna be talking about Brill Conference. So I'm gonna put, put it up here, B-R-I-L conference.com. And you guys can, I'm gonna put that up there so people can see it. So you can type that in to find out more about Brill, especially if you are in Virginia and you're in the Richmond area and you're watching this and you don't have your tickets yet. So this is in March, um, March 22nd, is that right, Kim? Right. Yeah, and so Kim, tell us a little bit more about your part in Brill and like how how it got you got involved in that. Oh, I'd be glad to. Thank you, Molly. Well, first of all, I started last year with the very first conference, and I um, I'm a writing coach and publisher, so I assisted Anna and the other fantastic speakers by um, taking. A chapter that each of them donated, 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 <laughs> and made it into a compilation, and it was fantastic. And so, so much fun to do. I got to meet all of the speakers, and I love wisdom and being able to help pass that message on and beyond the Brill Conference itself. And so, I have the privilege of doing that again. <laughs> that is. So oh, amazing. So you and I are going to be chatting soon because I, you know, I have one of the chapters and I know it needs work, right? Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I'm super excited because I get to chat with you and you get to like do your magic and like make it all pizzazzed up. So yes, I'm very excited. Yay. Awesome. So, okay. And so had you already known Serana before, like through networking, how did you guys meet? 
Yeah, good question. We met through a network in Central Virginia called Synapse. And so she uh, started talking. And um, yeah, it, as soon as we met, uh, we clicked because she's helping women with their finances. I'm in the business of helping women and other entrepreneurs with their rights. And um, and we also love cats, so we bond. I love cats too. Yay! <laughs> I'm a cat person. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't have a cat right now, but you know, I had a cat soulmate. She's on my wall over there. I'll have oh, a picture of her. But um, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys are great. Yeah, I'm so excited about you know what you're doing uh, with the chapters, with the book, and then with helping Serrano mm -hmm. with this. And I love this new description. It's so oh. fun, right? It's so juicy. So, um, how did you get involved with what you do? And like, you're an author. You're obviously a writing coach. You mentioned a million different things that you do here. I didn't, <laughs> you, let me go back to it. Okay, <laughs> authors first. So, Author. tell me about what are you most proud of writing? Oh gosh, so I wrote my book in two. 2014 and I self-published it in 2016 so it was fun it, it it my book is called ticker what makes people tick and pursue a career they love and I'm an IT project manager and I loved what I did um we had kind of offset work and it kind of shook my world I was like I've been sleepwalking through my life. What do I really want? So I started talking to people who really love what they do. And it was a super project. So since you love cats, I'll share with you. One of the people who interviewed is a lady who runs a traveling cat circuit. <laughs> she has 30 cats. She takes them on a bus everywhere, all over the United States, and they perform. <laughs> I love that. I, I'm like, you must, you must be passionate. I love cats, but I don't think I could do that with me. Yeah. 30, that, that's a lot. Exactly. A lot. Uh, so I took that passion um, for writing and self-publishing, and I wanted to offer it to others, and that's how I became a writing coach and publisher. Okay. And so you said you transi transitioned from IT, is that right? I did, yes. Okay. Tell me more about that. How did that happen? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I've been in IT for many years. Um, it was funny because originally I was an English major, so I thought I'd do something writing related. But I also love puzzles. And when I first got into PCs, it was like a puzzle. I love taking things apart. So I was a desktop technician, and I would be taking out motherboards and hard drives. <laughs> I can't imagine. OK. I loved it and then I kept working my way up until I became a project manager which was fun but I didn't they wouldn't let me take apart machines anymore <laughs> so you're managing this and then you know how did you transition oh absolutely so I started off with writing as my side hustle I started with a couple of clients I had one wonderful my very first client who took a chance on me and uh, she and I worked together and we published a book while I was still working full time. And I. That's sweet. That's very sweet. Oh, um, wonderful. And then more and more, more clients. And then finally, I was at the point where I had saved up my nickels and dimes and I'm like, OK, I'm ready to fly solo. So, <laughs> so you're like semi retired. You know? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you're like. You know, the side hustle is my gig, people. Okay. So, exactly. <laughs> right. And so you were you were at Brill last year. Um, what did you what do you think of Brill? Can you tell people who haven't been there like some kind of insight into it? Oh, I'd be glad to. The speakers last year were fantastic. I learned so much. Um, the thing I really appreciated about it too was um uh, you know, I was answering a table. I had wonderful people at my table. Not only did we get to hear from the speakers, I got a lot of people who were right there and networked people I hadn't met before. Um, I absolutely love that. And I made some really valuable connections. Um, 
So yeah, I, I just walked out of there feeling so inspired. Um, we started off the morning doing a little bit of stretching and exercise and the DJ who uh, Serana had um, will be there again this year. <laughs> he had us up and dancing, having a good time and it was so much fun. <laughs> So I should bring like little trainer shoes and be ready to yeah. like jump around. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've been warned. <laughs> I've been warned. I know my high heels and you know pretty shoes that are uncomfortable. Well, I'll probably have to take them off. To like you know exactly, take things. off your shoes and dance. <laughs> It'll be fun. Awesome. But okay, so you said you were a life. What's a life tech? Life tech. So that's a good question. So I took life coach training in 2017. Um, and so I've actually done more of that through my um, publishing. I do a lot of writing coaching because there's a lot. Um, life, life tech is my term for life coaching because I'm wild about the word coach. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Awesome. So, yeah. But Guiding people through not being afraid to write, owning their authentic voice, being are awesome. Okay, so you know what I realize now is that you and I jumped onto this and we did not share the video. So we oh, have a lot of viewers right now. So we might have to repeat ourselves a little bit. But okay. let's go to another tab. So go to a okay. different tab and open your Facebook. And we're going to do this. We're going to share it. We're going to do it live. Okay. So I'm going to share mine. So what you do is um, if you go to my business name, which is Sacred Fire Creative. Okay. And I'm doing um, this in Facebook, right? You're going to want to do this in Facebook. Yep. So um, I will put it on the screen here too. Let's there you are. And then you should be able to share the post that is live, that is us. Oh, okay, gotcha. And <laughs> that will help because then people will be able to see us. So I'm going right. to go share mine, share mine to my timeline because I didn't do that either. Because we were just, we kind of just like rushed and jumped on. So, we did, didn't um, we? <laughs> so, but we had to. So that's how it is. But <laughs> oh, I know. see videos. I see live. Okay. So if you scroll down past the pinned post, um, okay, you should see our video and you should be able to share that post. It's a live feed. Can you see it? I want to make sure I'm clicking on the right thing. So it says it's live. Um, let me see. But, oh, I oh, see. Oh, that might be videos. I see live. Okay. So if you scroll down past pinned post, um, okay, that's the one. So you might want to not put the sound on because then it'll be it's a light endless loop. I think so. Let's see. I want to make sure I'm the right oops. thing. So oops, oops, oops. it's live. Darn, I think I shared the wrong thing. Um, let's see. If you guys are watching this live, if you can click some hearts so we can make sure that you are on here and also comment, tell us where you're watching from. That would be really great to know. And then we will keep going here. I just want to make sure that we've got one eyeball. We got two eyeballs on us. <laughs> it helps to share it, right? So did you share it? Are you, were you able to do that? I think so. Okay, I'll just walk you through it really quick, okay? Okay. okay. So on your Facebook, uh -huh. go to Sacred Fire Creative. Uh -huh. And then what you want to do is click on the business page. And then on that timeline, you want to scroll down and then scroll past the videos and past the pinned post. Okay. And then you'll see yourself. And that's where you want to scroll down a little more and share that post. And it says, send this to friends or post it on your timeline. And you want to share it to your timeline. Okay. I'm, 
I'm on here. I see live video, but I go past that because I think that's the pinned post. And then I see all videos and I go past that. Yep, keep going. Okay. And you should see a post that says Sacred Fire Creative is live now. Hmm. Oh, darn, I'm not seeing that. Uh, let's see. I know you saw it because you clicked it and it was um, it was playing. <laughs> I heard my voice. That. Yep, keep going. Okay. And so, you should see a post that says Sacred Creative is live now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, darn, I'm not seeing that. Uh, um it was playing <laughs> i heard my voice i can hear my voice again <laughs> okay okay so okay sacred fire is live now do i click follow is that how it works no you click share on that post okay so if you guys are watching this and you can click share on the post that would be so helpful I can hear my voice. <laughs> okay. It looks like you shared it. Okay, Sacred Fire is live. Okay, I closed the Facebook. Is it looks that... like you shared it. So you just okay. can go ahead and close that up so that we're um, not hearing the feedback. And then we have <laughs> some questions. Right? So if you guys are watching this, thank you so much. Sorry for the technical glitches. And definitely, if you have questions for Kim, this is the time to post your questions in the comments. Um, you'll want to click through to the original post in Sacred Fire so that I can bring up your questions for Kim. And then, so we'll wait a few moments to see if people have questions. Then okay. other than that, um, definitely tell us more about, uh, let's see. You say that you're, um, you say you're a life tech, but you don't like the word coach. Right. Um, so tell tell me more about what that is, and you know, you mentioned a little bit, but maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. So um, I took life coach training, and it's been helpful in all facets of my life, and I've been able to apply it every day as a writing coach. Um, so many people when they want to write but they're afraid, they're afraid of being judged. They're afraid of um, that what they're saying isn't good enough, or too hard on themselves. So uh, I like to use life tech in that you can use the tech, um, the, the tools you, you have, um, your fingertips to to make changes so that you can own your authentic voice. Um, some of the things I have to do is I create what I call an empowerment card that tells someone, I am a writer, my words have power. And that helps to dispel those fearful notions. So life tech, I guess, is using, it's my way of using my IT background so you can use Tools that are practical and usable to make your dreams true. Awesome. Well, I love it. I love that you got training in it and that you call it tech so that you bring in your IT background. Uh, what is going on that's new with you that you want to share with people? Do you have some events coming up or anything new on the horizon? Oh, I do. Thank you for asking. It's so fun. So this past fall, I had some writing workshops that I did and were successful and well received. So I'm going to have some new writing workshops this spring. Um, one's going to be on um, uh, a way to create your one page marketing plan for your book to get your book book out there. I'm uh, going to do another one on children's books and another one on um, doing a, a, a deeper dive on memoirs. Um, that's been very popular. Um, also doing my very first writing retreat, March. Um, doing that at this cute bed and breakfast. It's in a town called Blackstone, Virginia. 
and it's going to be five writers me and we'll be working and everybody's going to come in with an idea and they're going to take away the start of their book. Awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> Those all sound so amazing. Oh, okay. And where can people find out more about you? I'll put it on the screen. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'll give you my website. It's www.kwepub.com. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me see if I did this right. Can you can you see it on the screen on your screen? Yes. Okay. You it. Okay, so that's where people can find out more about Ken. And I just love your energy. You're super amazing. And I love like that we had all these tech glitches and it was fine. Um, <laughs> we got to hear a lot about Brill and about you and about your writing and just how you are so welcoming with it and um, and then mm -hmm. use your, your fun funness and your background too. I love it. Oh, um, anything else you wanna share before we wrap up? And say bye to everybody. Absolutely. Um, you guys, I can't wait for Brill. It's going to be fantastic. Serana has wonderful speakers, including Molly. I can't wait for person. And um, you guys come. It's going to be an amazing experience. This year was awesome. And it's just going to be even better this year. It is. I'm so, so very excited um, for Brill Conference. Uh, my husband is coming out. Uh, we're super excited to be out in Virginia, too. Oh, my family is from Northern Virginia. From uh, I'm going to be staying in D.C. with my sister. And my mom lives in Arlington. So we're doing the drive down to Richmond. So I'm really excited to be out that way. And if you're watching this and you're one of my friends from like way back, then <laughs> let me know, get at me. Um, and then if you saw Kim on this and you have questions for her, but you were too shy to put them in the comments, then definitely, you know, private message her, reach out to her on this. Um, she's an amazing writer, author, coach, mm -hmm. and she'll be able to help you. So thank you so much for being here, Kim. It was so nice meeting you. Oh, you too, Molly. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye, everybody. <laughs>